Hey there everyone, welcome to another RC Tanks Australia video. In this video I want to show you an exciting new feature that you can add to your tank um, if you've got a gecko. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. A gecko. If you've got a gecko, you can add a Hobby King GA250. It only costs about $12 if that. And uh, once you've done that, you can get turret locking on your tanks. What's turret locking? Well, I'm glad you asked. Turret locking is when you can move your tank to right or left and the turret will stay in position locked on target. Okay, now all you need to do is set up your GA250 inside your turret. We've just plonked it on the top here so that you can see it working. Oh, sorry, I'm going to cough. <coughs> okay, now to turn turret locking on, grab your radio and you will assign a switch. So you need, a, you need two channels to operate turret lock. Okay, we've got turret lock switch here. So when you flick that switch on, you'll note that um, the blue light comes on on the uh, gyro unit indicating that it's in turret lock mode. So what happens there is you'll note I'm going to move the chassis around and hopefully the turret will stay pointing this direction. Okay, so up we go. Okay, so your turret is staying locked on target as you move around. Okay, also even though while you're in turret lock mode you can still manually rotate the turret. All right. So you can do that yourself to get a new new lock on. And then it'll stay in that position wherever you leave it. Okay. Um, turn turret lock off. And again, it will revert to your normal, your normal control. Okay, so that's um, turret locking with your gecko and a Hobby King GA250 unit. Thank you.